if it's your birthday, happy blade birthday, if it's in the past, happy future birthday, if it's in the future. My name is Lime Green, and welcome back to the Out of Time Podcast, the podcast where I try and play through Ocarina of Time all the way through for the first time ever. The last time I played this, I only got up to Jabu Jabu's belly, and last episode we actually made it past uh, Jabu Jabu's belly, if you're a... Uh, <laughs> actually keeping up with the podcast uh but last or this time we actually made it past the forest temple yeah the forest temple let me pull up my notes here i actually <laughs> just finished it like you can't get more up to date than this episode like i literally just turned off my 3ds to record this podcast. I wasn't really sure what to put on the thumbnail here. Uh, so I just <laughs> put these things. I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, the hook shot. And Link gets old. And there's zombies everywhere. So here we are. So right after Jabu Jabu's belly, I was like, I have enough sculptulas for whatever uh, you need so I changed them in and I got a bigger wallet the adults wallet I can hold up to 200 rupees now and uh, then you you have like three spiritual stones so I went to go to Hyrule Castle and that's when you find out the nightmare is real and uh, Impa is riding away on a horse and Gandor's like get out of my way and then he like <laughs> he shoots you with like a laser or like something weird and he knocks you into the water and uh that's when you like find like Zelda threw the Ocarina of Time into the water so you'd find it and I'm not really sure what you do with the fairy Ocarina I don't know uh, but that's when you learn the Song of Time. And then you gotta go to the Temple of Time. And you trade, <laughs> you essentially trade the stones for the Master Sword. And, but once you pull the Master Sword, uh... I wrote down the Temple of Light is one of the last strongholds against Ganondorf's evil forces in the Sacred Realm. Uh, but once you pull the Master Sword, uh, Link, yes, essentially just disappears from the world for seven years. Uh, and in those seven years, Ganondorf just takes over everything. And it's like crazy. And you leave the cast or the temple. And immediately it's like, whoa, what's going on here? I also wrote down, uh, they call him the King of Thieves, the Grudo King of Thieves, and the King of Evil. <laughs> His name is ever changing in this game. I, I gotta keep you yeah, up to date on this. Uh, the Sage's seals contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. And then he gives you a, a light medallion. But, oh my gosh. A, a lot apparently happened before you pulled the sword. Uh, the world is full of monsters. And then, Sheik appears. Who could that be? Uh, she tells you, you gotta go to the forest, a high mountain, a vast lake, a uh, house of the dead, <laughs> which I'm very intrigued by. Uh, goddess of the sand that's not really a place 
and the five temples, five sages. You gotta go to Kakariko and save the forest, uh, forest girl. And the Scott, like, now is when you leave. And the sky is, like, dead. And there's three deads everywhere. And you can't find anyone. It's, like, craziness. Uh, everything's gone. And I was trying to find a way out of town, and I went the wrong way. And <laughs> apparently Ganondorf is like, Oh, I'm just gonna take over Hyrule Castle. This is, this is mine now. Uh, he, like, dried up the river around Hyrule Castle and, like, painted it black. Um, so then I was like, well, I got a bunch of free time now. Let's go to Lon Lon Ranch. I haven't been there ever. So I went there, and Malin's like, if I leave, uh, Ingo will mistreat the horses, and my father was uh, kicked kicked out or whatever. And I was like, oh geez. And she's like, I I need you to learn a horse song. And I'm like, I don't know any horse tunes. And then you can pay like ten rupees to play with the horses. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't really sure the point of that, and uh, he's like, there are people out there that think I'm, that think they're, uh, I cheated Talon out of his ranch, but uh, Ganondorf, he gave it to me, and then I left there, and then this is a question you guys need to answer, because I really want to know. I defeat a Poe, and I caught the ghost in a bottle. I have no idea what to do with that ghost in a bottle. Ghost in a shell. And it took me... I'm not sure why, but I feel like the map's changed or something. I don't know. But, uh... It took me a while to find Kakariko. I feel like the landscape is different in the seven years and once I got to Kakariko Navi's like should we believe what Sheik said and I'm like why shouldn't we uh, the well is dry so I jumped in and it looked like a bombable rock but I guess not because I tried to bomb it and then there's a lady there that wants to buy bottle things and I tried to sell it or the ghost and she didn't want to buy it and then I, I was trying to uh, type things and <laughs> I kept this in the notes because I thought it was funny I wrote like Kilbu Fursaria and that was supposed to be meaning while looking for Saria I played music for Tombstone and that like opened up and uh into like a green acid zone chemical plant zone with uh re-deads and inside it was like the rising sun will eventually set a newborn's life will fade from sun to moon from moon to sun give peaceful rest to the living dead and then it's like, the secret melody of the Composer Brothers? I'm like, who's the Composer Brothers? And then I learned the Sun Song. I was looking for Saria in there. They said Saria was at Kakariko. Uh, then it said like, restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the Sun Song. I, I don't know what that means. So... <laughs> you want to explain in the comments <laughs> uh, then last episode 
I said there's a grumpy guy in Impa's house. How oh, he was berating me for saying, what are you doing in here? And I was like, what are you doing in here? This isn't even your house. And he's still in there seven years later. And he's like, I want to talk to your parents. By the way, there's a gross, there's a ghost of a gravekeeper in the cemetery. And it's like, yeah? That's all you gotta say? <laughs> uh, I found the music guy. You know, the da da da, da da da, da 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 da. I learned the song of storms. Uh, then I went to the cemetery again, and I was like, man, there's gotta be some more stuff. And I pulled the mill grave, and nothing happened. I pull another grave, and another grave, and another grave, and another grave, and another grave. And then I found a dampy down there, and then I raced him, and then I got a hook shot. And then he's like, I live here now. <laughs> and then that was the funniest thing to me. Uh, then you climb out of there, and then I got harpies from that, too. Uh, then I just kind of finangled up onto a roof, and then I got another heart piece with the cow. Uh, I went back to Kokiri, and there's like enemies everywhere. That was kind of crazy. Uh, Mido, the jerk, he was spreading misinformation. He was saying Link was withering the great DQ tree, and uh, so you kind of have to like go into Lost Woods and like track down Mido and Saria. And then I'm not sure if this is like the the strat everyone was talking about back in 1998, but what I did was there's like these big wolf guards uh or walking around with spears and you gotta like turn really fast you know z targeting around the corners but what i did is i just threw a bot at him and blew him up uh then i found a fairy fountain on top of all that and i thought it was a big fairy fountain a great fairy fountain but it's just a fairy fountain and then there's like a mini boss club guy he kind of remind me of Spyro. And then Sheik reappears and she's like, here's the minute of the forest. Why does no one talk about the minute of the forest? Minuet? Uh, maybe because it just warps you to the temple? I'm not sure. Uh, for a second, I wasn't sure how to get into the forest temple. But then I was like, oh, just hook shot in there. The moment I stepped into the temple, I was like, whoa, this music's kind of bizarre. Uh, and it's the music you're hearing now. <laughs> uh, like one of the early rooms, there's like a skull with like fire around it. And I didn't know how to beat it for a while. And then apparently you got hold your shield out, and then it just runs into it. I guess uh, there's a room with uh, skeleton boys, scalfuls, and then the first time I ran, ran into those guys, I died. And there, there's a block puzzle with keys and puzzles, and you got push it into like the right places. That was. Well, the first time that was that was easy, but then you gotta go through there like a million times, and then you have to fight three scalfos. I want to say that fighting those guys is easy, and then you get a fairy bow. Uh, then there's like painting shenanigans. I wasn't even sure if I was doing it right. I was just. <laughs> Like, every time you pass by the painting, 
like they like disappear uh, so I was just like yeah hey, what do you think of this little arrow action and then later on there's like a room with <laughs> just a hand and, like a little floor master uh, that was funny to me uh, I, I wasn't really sure what I thought of this dungeon. The aesthetics were kind of everywhere. It was kind of scary, I guess. And some points were like, "Ooh, it's a Mario Party dungeon!" Uh, like at one point, there's like a block or four blocks, five blocks, I think five, and you gotta like rearrange them into. Uh, the ghost and that took me a couple of tries but I don't know that <laughs> this was a funny a funny scary dungeon that's why I really didn't know what to put for the thumbnail <laughs> it was it was a goofy dungeon I think that's really uh, it all really comes together in how you get to the final place. Uh, you gotta beat the ghost. Beat the final ghost. And then it takes you in the elevator. And it looks like you're going to like a clown. Like a clown room. <laughs> uh, or a circus I should say. And then I was like. Is it gonna be like a circus spider thing? And this is like the biggest 180 I've ever seen like you solve this puzzle and then you go in there and it's a p big painting or it's a hallway of paintings I should say and then you go through it's like oh man who's it gonna be who's it gonna be and you go in and it's <laughs> it's Phantom Ganondorf it's like what <laughs> what what does that say about the about everything and then uh, he's like running through paintings and throwing lightning bolts down. And that also makes me question like how far into this game are we? I don't know. And the whole thing is you got Shum with arrows when he's coming through paintings and hitting the volley back at him. And then after he beat him, Gandorf is like, Congratulations! I'll send this man to another dimension. <laughs> it's like you can do that. What does that even mean? And then Saria comes out and she's like, "I'm a sage from of the Forest Temple. Congratulations! Here's a forest medallion." So all in all, oh wait, one more thing. Uh, it turns out the Deku tree is not dead. You know, trees can't. Well, I guess trees can't tire, but he like sprouted another seed. He's a Dehu tree sprout. He's like, you're not a Kokiri. And see, that conform confirms my suspicions from the beginning. He's like, you're a Hylian. And I was like, theory confirm. Confir Why can't I say that? Theory confirmed. I'm a game theorist. And he gives like a little backstory of how it happened. Also, Deku, Deku tree sprout, little baby Deku tree looks very cute. All in all, I have to say this was, I don't know, not my, fa <laughs> not my favorite. I liked the lead up, the bait and switch. You know, you're pulling the master sword, and it was, you know, you think it's gonna be all easy from now on, but then it's like, uh oh. Redeads everywhere, everything's all sad now. Uh. I don't know, it was a, it was a good beginning. But the temple was 
I, I know. T they, they had to pick either clown, <laughs> clowny or spooky. I don't know. Maybe, maybe after the next one, I'll like it more. I like the music. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting uh, to go back to a first temple. I would have thought it would have been, I don't know, inspired by some other element. Some sort, I don't know. Electric temple. Where are the electric temples in Zelda? Let me know if there's an electric temple in, like, the Minish Cap. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on the Forest Temple, on the hookshot, and the fairy bow. Did you think this temple was too... clowny? <laughs> or did you think it was too scary? Let me know. See you later. Bye-bye.